द बेसमेंट रूम बाय ग्राहम ग्रीन प्रेजेंटेड बाय डॉक्टर विनम्रता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज एंड अंडरस्टैंड अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी रिटन बाय ग्राहम ग्रीन एंड इज टाइटल्ड द बेसमेंट रूम इट इज अ स्टोरी विच प्रोब्स डीपर इनटू ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी एंड specifically the psychological analysis of a small boy a kid a 7 year old kid who takes his first steps into the understanding of the adult world and what are his feelings about it what are the traumas he faces and how he perceives the next step he is going to take into the adult world so let's start with the understanding of the short story first about graham green henry graham green 2nd october 1904 to 3rd of april 1991 he was one of the prominent english novelist of the 20th century he was shortlisted in 1966 and 1967 for the nobel prize of literature He has penned over 25 novels and several short stories and his themes generally talk about ambivalent moral and political issues of the modern world often through a religious perspective trying to figure out the dilemma of the modern world and also probes deeper into human psychology this story that we are going to deal today is about a child's psychology the dilemma of the modern world torn between religion morality and modernity the characters of this play or the story the, there are three major characters one is master philip lanes who is a small kid and the protagonist of the story mr bains he is the family butler and mrs baines she is the housekeeper and the wife of mr baines the storyline is that it is a psychological story and the protagonist of this story is a small 7 year old kid and his traumatic experiences the parents are out on a trip and the boy is happy to be in the company of the family butler and enjoy his new earned freedom he wants to explore so this is his craving his needs his desire to look around to look around the new world that he his and to look around and find his new found freedom because till now he was always under the supervision of his parents so suddenly he comes under a time or a situation where his parents are not around where his parents are not there to stop him from anything he wishes to do and at that time when he is under the hands of the family butler he feels that he can do anything he wish like and he is very happy about it but suddenly it turns out not as he had wished for so this is all about the story and uh, going into the deeper analysis of the story and the story line Philip is a 7 year old kid and is overwhelmed with the fact that his parents are away on a trip and he can roam about the mansion and can explore the outer world on his own. He is left under the care of a family butler and whose name is Mr Baines and his wife Mrs Baines. The butler is very nice and friendly and they together share a bond. Philip and the butler they share a bond. and philip feels very happy to be with him so one day when he is unable to find mr baines he goes on out in the search of mr baines and he goes to the green blaze door and actually he goes through the door he opens the door and went in goes in and that door separates the masters and the servants that is the basement room where the servants used to live so that is the door of the basement room and philip goes through that door to find mr baines there and there he sees mr baines 
and uh, he had always disliked mrs baines so she is also there and here the boy starts to see how the adult world he longs to enter has reasons to be feared as well he sees mr baines being cowed down by mrs baines mrs baines personality is very intimidating and even mr baines has no say in front of her he also starts to gain an understanding of the meaning of the evil he sees that his unqualified happiness when with when with mr baines is threatened by the existence of people like mrs baines philip wants to go for a walk and mr baines uh, tries to accompany him he goes tries to go out on a walk with mr baines but mrs baines comes in and does not allow it frustrated by this situation and within the house he goes out to find and explore the world outside the mansion so he flees the house and enters the world outside alone so when he goes out there are many things that he sees and among the things he sees outside mr baines in a very different persona philip finds him in a tea shop with a young woman and being flirty with her he sees a new whole version of mr baines philip agrees to keep baines's secret but could not and later tells mrs baines and mrs baines also swears him to secrecy she bribes him with building blocks to keep the secret but philip knows that he will never be able to use them so philip somewhere or the other earlier was very fond of building blocks but now he feels that somewhere or the other his creativity process the creative process has been hindered and that's why he says that he knows now he won't be able to use those building blocks ever again and uh, these series of events that philip does not understand will continue to haunt him throughout his life it is a traumatizing period in his young life that shapes the man he ultimately becomes so the themes what are the main themes major themes of the story first is it probes into the psychology of a child second it also justifies the fact that any traumatic incident is imprinted in the child's mind and shapes his or her personality things that affected philip obviously aggressiveness of the people like mrs baines and dual personality of people like mr baines now coming to the symbols used in the story because the story is highly symbolic in nature and here the basement room signifies the class difference it is a restricted place for philip and is not allowed to enter through the green door of the basement room because that is the servants quarter servants are only allowed to live there and that's why philip is not allowed there plus the green door is the entry point cement symbolically into the adult world the world which is full of deceit and mistrust green door is also the dividing line between the conscious and the subconscious when philip says he will never be able to use his building set again it signifies his setback after the incident the effect is so deep that he expresses his inability to create anything again to be creative again so at last we can say that philip is an innocent boy and now he moves into the realm of experience so this is a story a building's roma story actually because it traces the development of philip from a young boy into a adult into an adult and uh, uh, philip is an innocent boy and now he moves into the realm of the experience he learns that sorting through good and evil is not a simple task because first he thought mr baines to be very good in nature then he finds out the dual personality of mr baines so he gets to know about the evils of the world the story deals with the fact that life is not a comfortable straight line but rather a series of compromises that are not always easy to understand betrayal is a major theme so that is all about the story and i'm sure you must have understood it so that is about 
the basement room. Thank you.